Hi, I'm Damien Marie Adho, and I am an axiological atheist. And as an axiological atheist, I value ignosticism with an I and igtheism also with an I. Although often described as one of the new atheists, even Sam Harris has expressed frustration with the label and often employs agnostic with an I arguments criticizing the ambiguous and inconsistent definitions of the concept of God. Harris finds the label of atheism as extraneous as needed to be a labeling oneself as a non-racist or a non-believer in Zeus. In this sense, Harris finds debating about the existence of God to be both absurd and ascientific, yet still an inconvenient necessity when speaking in the defense of reason and science. Harris, as well as I, would say that we need to state that we are atheists. But back to the term agnosticism. It was coined in the 1960s by Sherwin Wine, a rabbi and the founding figure of humanistic Judaism. The term igtheism was coined by a secular humanist, Paul Krutz, in his 1992 book the new skepticism. Agnosticism with an I holds two inherent views about God, the God concept that is. They are as follows. One, the view that a coherent definition of the God concept must be presented before the question of existence of God can be meaningfully discussed. Two, if a definition is provided is unfalsifiable, the agnostic, with an I, takes the theological non-cognivist position that the question of existence of God is meaningless. In other words, a definition which is incoherent cannot be about anything and a definition which isn't about anything cannot be said to be meaningful. So the problem of defining God as incomprehensible at the same time makes God incoherent by simple definition and thus meaningless. Agnosticism though should not be confused with apatheism which is a position of apathy towards the existence of God. An apatheist may see the statement God exists as insignificant, and yet they may also see it as having a semantic value, and perhaps even that it could be true. 